everybody! So today I wanted to show you how I sometimes spend some of my afternoons and there's a whole lot of crazy here, so here we go. Alright, is everybody ready? Okay, let's get started. Once upon a time, there was, and still is, a magical kingdom under the sea. There was a castle that was built at the bottom of a large trench and it was so big that it climbed up out of the trench and the city was built along the shelves. The castle was made out of bright corals, pearls that shine like the sun, and other goods of the that we have yet to discover. Bright and beautiful fish lived in the lush gardens of the castle, and the seaweed flowers would wave in the gentle currents. But I haven't even mentioned the best part of this secret world. Really? The castle had been built and was inhabited by mer people. More people? Exactly. The mermaids had long flowing hair and wore jewelry made of polished shells and pearls. Their tails came in a variety of colors, even in colors that we don't know about. Some of the mermaids could even change their tail colors as they chose. Those were the princesses. The mermaids carried shining weapons made from all sorts of corals and shark teeth, and the men would prove their worth by supplying the city and castle with fruits of the sea. Now, in the highest tower of the castle lived a young mermaid princess named Eva, who had never seen the outside ocean. She longed for just a chance to swim through the gardens of the palace. And one night, Eva gave her frightful governess a sleeping drought, and she snuck out of the palace into the gardens. As she swam through the garden, she picked the luscious flowers and stuck them in her hair. And when her hair could hold no more, she started to make flower chains. She had learned how to do that in a book. And she wore them as a necklace. When Aoife was doing this, she didn't notice a handsome merman prince watching her. He had come to the palace from another undersea country and had heard that the gardens were famous. So he wanted to see them for himself. But he was far more enchanted by this lovely maiden than the flowers. So the mer prince slowly swam closer and closer to the princess and was hidden away by the foliage trying to get close a closer glimpse of this beauty. All of a sudden, Aoife saw the prince and was so startled that she started swimming away as fast as she could. She's listening in. What does it matter if she was listening in? She's a girl, just like you or I. Miss Minchin wouldn't approve. Story time is over, ladies. I'll continue the story tomorrow. Aww. Ah. But a cliffhanger, that's not fair. At least you don't have to wait two years.